back on the outside for this week, it seems. Yeah, it does, man. Unfortunately, we had a couple of things go wrong in practice. So, um, so much in this league, so many things can happen. You always have to prepare yourself, like I said, as a starter. And uh, there'll be a little adjustment, but we'll make it work. How do you feel about the difficulty of going back and forth, game in week to week? Um, it's not really a difficulty. I think the, the biggest thing for me is inside is always, I look at harder than outside. So um, if I can go from playing the, the harder thing to more of an easier focus thing outside, then uh, it makes it a little bit easier from that standpoint. But you just have to get into a different mentality when you play outside. How difficult is that matchup with those that three summer receivers that you have? Uh, man, it's, it's going to be a challenge. I mean, I feel like all of us on the back end are going to have to uh, to really bone up because they have some talented receivers, you know, with the guys that they have. But it's another challenge that we've always prepared for. I mean, week in and week out, there's always going to be a challenge with receivers in this league. So many teams in this league have number one, number two, and number three receivers. So for our matchup, it's going out there and being confident in what we do. Does it make it difficult when maybe one snap here on a guy like Deshaun that's crazy fast and then the next one a giant guy like Mike, a big physical guy? Yeah, I, I would say it's all about film study. From from a perspective of Deshaun and Mike, they both are completely different receivers. You know, so if you're watching film, uh, you're going to get things from Deshaun that you're not going to get from Mike, and that's the big part of why this game is so much more mental than physical, because with film study, you can ID more of what these guys like within the individual personnel. Winston is the number one overall pick, so obviously there's talent there. What are some of the traits that you see when you uh, study Winston? Uh, very big guy, hard to get down. Um, it's going to take more than one guy to get him down as far as scramble rules. You know, he's always scrambling and he's looking to run. He's looking to throw down the field. Very strong arm and he's been there for a while. So he has a great connection with his receiver core. That's the biggest thing is trying to get him off a of rhythm. You know, so much, so it's so hard in this league to allow teams to be two dimensional. You always have to make them one dimensional in that sense. I mean, when you're a, a DB, is it in your mind to whatever extent that, hey, we're facing a number one overall pick this week? Or? Nah, I've never thought of any game like that. Um, he puts on his shoes just like I do. So number one pick in, in that sense doesn't really uh, come into that thought process. How does their use of their tight ends like, complicate the, the job? Um. I wouldn't say it complicates. It just makes us have to dial in more to uh, their offensive game plan because they do, they do have tight ends that they utilize and they like to get the ball to. So at that point, there's going to be another guy in our room or, or within the secondary, within the linebacker core that we're going to have to pay high attention to in order to take that threat away. Would you expect to be uh, one receiver most of the time? Um, I don't know. You know, I, I, that that'll be a game plan thing based on how the coaching staff utilizes us in the back end. Um, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Did you notice? You know, a lot of you guys are always together so often in the meeting rooms and everything like that. Did you notice, or did EJ, you know, confide in you at all that he felt a little bit off? No, it was. Um, you know, it was something that we didn't find out. You know, most of the time. Uh, those are things that handle within the training room. And uh, coach just came up to me and said, you know, you're going to be working some outside today. So just uh, be prepared. And as we got on the field, that's what happened. So uh, like so many times in this league, I said, it's always about next next man up. So you were pretty surprised to hear that then? Yeah, uh, a little bit, a little bit. You know, you never want to see one of our guys go down and practice, you know, in, in any facet because uh, the game is just so precious. So any time that we feel any type of concern with any player, we're always rooting for the best of them, you know, and um, we never expect a player to get hurt. So that's something that we'll have to manage. Overall, I mean, you guys gave up at a rough game last week, obviously. Um, how do you think, what do you have to do to bounce back from that as a defense? Give it up that Move on. You know, it's one game. It's something that we have plenty more to, to play. If you let that one game get in the way, it can turn into two and three and four games. And so the biggest thing within this league is always move on to the next game. Allow that last week to be with last week's problems and focus on this week so that um, we don't have those issues again. Were you, were you able to identify, not you specifically, but Greg or the team, identify the problem, especially 
and some of those outside runs that they just kept having success Yeah, we, you know, so much of this league is a copycat league. You know, if somebody does it successful against you one time, you know, you, you can expect to see it the next week. And so, you know, those are fires that we're going to have to put out, and that's what we're working on this week to, to put those fires out. The rule book doesn't really allow you guys as DBs to be physical with the receivers anymore. They, you know, after five years, they throw a flag if you breathe on them. So how do you slow up, you know, big big receivers within the, uh, the constraints <laughs> yeah. that the league puts there for you? Ah, uh, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> um, no, in all honesty, you got to be crafty. Um, it's, it's very hard nowadays for us to get our hands on receivers. And it, it puts us in a situation that you have to be more craftier than ever in order to slow them down, wh whether that's um, scheme, whether that's you knowing what they're doing, whether that's uh, you taking one or two plays and being physical with them and, and not being as noticeable, and then that next play you kind of back off, um, or whether that's just getting in their head mentally. You know, That's another way that you can slow a receiver down. So there's more ways that you can slow a receiver down other than the mental standpoint. But from that mental standpoint, and I mean, from that physical standpoint, it's a challenge, man. It's a challenge week in and week out because past that five yards, we can't really get any hands on them. Body position. You got to put yourself always in a, in a great body position so that um, – you know, you're always in his way. You're not giving him the leverage that he wants to take. Um, you're taking away what he, where he wants to go. And within that standpoint, at that same time, you're, you're both competing for the ball. So for a f bigger physical guy like that, you, you'll always have to be in perfect body position to eliminate space and to eliminate the flag. <laughs>